Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about two Lionesses legends that have retired this week here on She Scores Bangers. The last two days saw two legends from the women's game hang up their boots and call retirement from professional football, Linus's own Ellen White and Jill Scott. Ellen White walks away being England's women's all-time record goal scorer with 52 goals in 113 games, which actually she was only one away from equalizing Wayne Rooney's goal tally at 53, which would have marked her as England's highest goal scorer in general, either men's or women's. In fact, 26 out of the 52 goals, which is 50% of them, have been scored in the last four years, which is quite a record within itself. She has also bagged six goals representing Great Britain in various competitions, most notably the Olympics, which also puts her on the top for that list. Her individual awards are a long list, including a Baldor nomination last year in the 2021 winning England Player of the Year three times and 2019 World Cup bronze boot. She has also won collective awards with Leeds, Arsenal, Manchester City, and made some appearances with Notts County, which saw this iconic free kick. The skipper has teed it up. Oh, and it was touched to Ellen White! Beautifully worked, fantastically finished, and Ellen White, in her first ever game against her former club, has her first Notts County goal. I tell you what, there's nothing better than a set piece like that working and coming off, and that's why the girls are so pleased, and that's why they ran over to the bench, because they've obviously practiced that and practiced it. What a great, pretending you're falling out and then nod it to the side for Ellen White, a great finish. I mean, she got a touch to it, Emma Byrne. Look there, we're falling out, you didn't do it right. Ellen White gets a little touch in front of her and finishes extremely well. In fact, she actually kicked off her professional career with Chelsea, which makes her the only ever player to play for Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester City all three together. It's funny to see how in the last few years, those were the three main clubs that kind of battle out the first three spots, which really tells you she's been playing at a top club level since the start. Throughout her time with all these clubs, she has captured two WSL titles, four Continental Cups and two FA Cups. Most recently, obviously, and most notably winning gold at the home Euros. She's only 33, which kind of is a little bit more of the younger scale when it comes to retirement. But let's be honest, you could have not gone out on a higher note than this right now. It was quite clear that she was going to be fighting for her spot in the international squad, you know, with the likes of Russo having a very, very good showing in the Euros. She seemed to be in a good place with City, but to be fair, if she's not playing Champions League or that big, high European football, then, you know, what's more to accomplish at this point? She's done it brilliantly on the international stage, the club stage. She's done collective awards individual words what's more to do for ellen white here her lioness's teammate and only english woman to have won two euros medal jill scott also retired from football at 35. she kicked off her professional career over 17 years ago with sunderland later joining everton and spending the next nine years at the blue side of manchester her intense and quite literally admirable work rate in the midfield has allowed her to grab WSL titles, FA Cups and multiple Continental Cups as well. She is also the second most capped English woman with 162 appearances for the Lionesses and has been able to give us some iconic scenes in the Euros final, if you know what I'm talking about. Outside of football, she owns a coffee shop in Manchester and has a podcast called Jill Scott Coffee Club on BBC Radio. It's a great listen. She always has some top-notch guests coming in and the conversations and dialogues that she's able to execute are honestly a, just a, a good time to listen to similar to ellen white again she has 162 appearances for the lionesses she just grabbed gold she was able to grab bronze uh, a few years back has been in multiple world cups and, and has kind of done it where she really needs to have done it at she finished last season with aston villa and it was reported that she was leaving manchester city and it kind of was you know nobody was sure where she was going to go and for her again pushing her body to the limits and, and playing at that high WSL level probably wasn't worth it for her anymore. She was going to struggle to get some minutes. And again, and so going out on a high, I think is a great, great decision. She's got a very bubbly and great personality. If you've been able to catch any of her interviews or, or skits or anything, she most definitely will not have any struggles making a career outside of the football pitch. As all this was going on, I can but help thinking about Steph Houghton. I almost feel like those three were kind of the biggest pioneers of English football, especially in the past few decades. Steph obviously having a, a long spell of captaincy. Injuries kept her out of the Euros, and it kind of felt like this Euros was also for her to, to be in win and, and grab that golden leave on a high with you know her two other teammates unfortunately it's really hard to think how she'll be able to find her spot back in the national team and if so 
what are the chances of her winning gold obviously the world cup is coming up next year but you know that's a hard bet to to bet on the fact that you're definitely going to win gold and definitely be involved in the squad but whenever she decides to hang it up i i hope she hangs it up in fashion like this duo did this week let us know your favorite moments of watching ellen white and jill scott over the last few years i certainly am very happy and privileged to be able to live in this era and watch them play what they've done with the lionesses england and i think the women's game in general is, is truly remarkable they are legends of the game whether you agree with it or not as always Always make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube and follow us on Twitter to stay updated and to continue enjoying the beautiful game. I will see you later.